Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Ramos versus Edwards. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Ramos, you are in court to prove that your ex-fiance, Mr. Edwards, fathered your one-month-old son, Xavier. You claim that after sharing your news that you were pregnant with his baby, women he was secretly cheating with started coming out of the woodwork trying to convince him he's not the dad. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Edwards, you say there's no way you are the father and claim the plaintiff changed up her due date to cover up her own infidelities. You say you brought a bombshell witness who will reveal the truth and seal your case. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Ramos, you say you're fed up with his drama. Tell me why. I am fed up with his lies, his manipulation. He does this to other people. He's not the only one. I mean, how... <laughs> Can you deny such a beautiful baby? You're, so you're... what was the nature of this relationship? I mean, you, you said that you were engaged. I... We known each other for years before. Then I seen them again last year. We, you know, at first I was kind of hesitant, but you know, like in my mind, I'm the type that's like, gives the people a doubt, benefit of doubt that they change after a while. And I gave him that benefit of the doubt. But then that's when he started doing the cheating from the, the whole time. And, you know, yes, you know, I did have sex with an ex of mine, but that was after the fact me and him wasn't even actually in a relationship. Like, we were... Wait a minute. In the beginning, like... You all are in a relationship. It was really not that serious in the beginning. It was just, like, talking to, you know, and I know it was gonna go on to this point. So how serious was it when Xavier was conceived? Oh, it was... It, that's when it really got serious. So you all were in a serious relationship. Yeah, but that... Yeah, then but that But you happened. admit you had sex with an ex of yours. Right, but, um, when I spoke to my doctor, I had... And she told me the date that I conceived was way before the time I even had sex with my ex. So, Mr. Edwards, you now are informed that she had sex with one of her exes. Right. And this is what leads you to doubt? That and, and other... And other confessions. And so, at what point do you find out she cheated? Well, at the beginning, when she, when she was at least, like, a month, a month pregnant, that's when she had, uh, slept with a relative of mine. I disagree. It's not even a... Bro- it's not even a blood relative, first of all. It was all through marriage. So, I don't even... So, it's a family I... member of his. Excuse, supposed yeah, excuse me, it's Your Honor. It's not really a family that... member. It's not Your Honor. or anything. Well, no, yeah, we but... disagree in this courtroom because we know that family has biological connection and then... But there's no family... biological connection. No, but next statement out of my mouth is that family comes in various forms. You have extended family, you have your village that's your family, and sometimes you have family through marriage. So, was this a family member through marriage? You're... But I, dis- I also disagree because them two don't even get along. They've always been beefing, they've always been fighting, they've always argue. But... They talk about each other back and forth. They wanted to fight each okay, other. Okay, so, let's just, Ronner, so let, let, let's, let's just say for the record in this courtroom, that sounds like family. Right, right. Because families do that. Right. Okay. So now, family or not, it's still another potential father. Okay. At least in his mind, you believe that there's a doubt. There was a... a there was a triangle. She I slept disagree. with two people I disagree. at the beginning. I wasn't... First Excuse of me, all, can the I person I was in a relationship can I with... Can I, I can was I living finish? there, but he wasn't living there. With I, okay, I, so, Ms. Ramos, listen, I will give you a chance to refute the testimony, but you've got to at least let them testify. Mr. Edwards, what were you trying to say? At the beginning of our... of our non-official relationship, <laughs> I was going through some, you know, family issues and, you know... And I ended up eventually moving in her apartment. Now, the relative of mine is the person that she slept with when she was about a month, about a month pregnant. Her story was that she was asleep and he was going in and out of her. You know, that, that, that right there was the, the, the story that I was okay, told. Okay, uh, wait a minute, Ms. R- Ms. Ramos. So it's... No. Mr. Edwards testified that you told him you were sleeping and someone had sex with you, but My you slept ex- through the entire thing? First of all, no. <laughs> Actually, I been broke up with that ex in June, a whole month before he even me and him even got reunited. So yes, while I was sleeping, he did start getting into me. No, I wasn't fully asleep, but I actually was not trying to really participate. But I'm not gonna reject it either, knowing that I had a relationship with him. Okay, so the bottom line is, is 
you were intimate with this person. Yeah, okay. and I'm not gonna deny that. I'm not okay. denying that at all. And so once you found out she was intimate with this person, that led you to believe she had been intimate with this person before? It's just too many times where she slept with people. Then the one time, in a, you know, she had text my phone and said that she had another confession. Um, she wanted me to meet her at the grocery store. So I met her at the grocery store. You know, as I'm approaching, she was, you know, looking in the freezer and stuff. And she started to cry. And what she says to me is that, um, while I was gone for, for a few months or whatnot, um, she slept with a guy and caught two diseases. Oh, my goodness. Your Ms. Honor. Ramos. Your Honor. Yes, At this I time, do. Your Honor, she was pregnant. Oh, my goodness. Yes, Your Honor, I do admit that I did sleep with an ex at that time, but before he went away for a while, he was in a relationship with another female, you know? So, yeah, I was gonna first work, at, work it out with my ex, and we did have an intimacy, which I do regret because of what I've caught. I wanted to fix it and make it work with him for our child because our child deserves what we didn't have, which was we didn't grow up with both of our parents, you know what I'm saying? We didn't have a full, complete family growing up, and we both decided that we wanted to have a complete family. He asked me to marry him. So after, after all this, Mr. Edwards, you agreed to marry Ms. Ramos? You asked her to marry you? Yes, I did, Your Honor. Okay. Because you felt like you really wanted to try to make it work? Yes, with, 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 with the child, you know, and play and things that I've been through in my life, I wanted to you know, show a difference, be something, you know, better than, than, than my, my mother and my father was. So, Mr. Edwards, when you found out she was pregnant, did you believe you were the child's biological father? No. You didn't? Nope. I, I have proof right here, Honor, with him being at the hospital with this big smile on his face. I'd rather that you not come to the hospital if you felt the way you felt than coming to the hospital and playing as this role if you're gonna doubt the role. I'd like to see that. Your Honor, may I, may I say something? Let me look at this evidence first. You presented the court with pictures. Yes, I have. Beautiful pictures of it looks like a couple who just welcomed their baby into the world. Exactly. Look at that. Look Mr. At... Edwards, you look pretty happy. <laughs> he looks just like him. That's what hurts. That's what And Ms. Ramos, hurts. this upsets you. Yes, it hurt. It, it sets me bad. It upsets me very bad. Jerome, you... I want you to give Mr. Edwards a close-up look sure. at this picture. Matter of fact, send him this one, too. Mr. Edwards, Maybe. I'm looking at these pictures presented to the court. Sure. That doesn't look like a look of doubt. You look like a happy dad in those pictures. What, what are you thinking in that moment? Whose baby is this? <laughs> <laughs> really? So, Mr. Edwards, did you sign the birth certificate? Nope. Your Honor... Because she never told the, the hospital that I was the alleged father. I disagree, Your Honor. When I told him, hey, it's time to come sign the birth certificate, it's, oh, no, I already told you I wanted a DNA test. Which is I already correct. know that's not my baby. I said, so why come here and play daddy? So he didn't sign the birth certificate, but you still gave Xavier his last name? Because him and his father told me to give him his last name. They were both there. I did tell her to give give the child my last name. If you still feel like that's a doubt for the baby, then why, again, want me to put your last name? You could have still continued to say, hey, put your last name, put your last name, put your last name until we figure it out. We're not together now, and I continue to be the strong woman that I am today. I have gone back to work, I'm going to school, and I'm still doing what I gotta do for our son. What have you done? You didn't help me. You didn't try to help me. Mr. Edwards, you've asked this woman to marry you. You've shown up at the hospital for the birth of this baby. You've st taken the father photos mm -hmm. and gave him your last name. I mean, just go down the line. You've checked every box that applies to father. But after all of this, you say you're not the biological father. There, there, there was just the doubts. It, it was just the cheat, the cheat, the cheating. Mr. Edwards, you say you brought a witness yes. today? I'd yes, like sure. to hear from that witness. Mm. Yeah, she's irrelevant. Jerome, will you please escort Absolutely. her into the courtroom? She's only been here since around February. Mm. She's a nobody. I'm gonna so... To the witness stand next to the judge. Because you're sleeping with her, too. That's what you think. No, it's what I know. Or... Let's go ahead and grab a seat up there, watch your step. 
Ms. Vaughn, yes. thank you for joining us today. We are here discussing the paternity of baby Xavier. What do you have to um, add to this? When he says she was pregnant, it was already a rumor going around that she was pregnant before they started talking by somebody else. Disagree. Everybody know about it. Well, that's because everybody's always making up lies because nobody likes me. Before I even seen you, I knew about you. Everybody was talking about you. Okay. So who is this girl that's sleeping with everybody? How about you answer the question about how the baby was born a month, a month and two weeks early? Oh, I can't help it if he was born a month early. Wait a minute now, Mr. Edwards. You say the baby was born a month a and month two early. weeks early. No, a month, a month early. early. So now, in your mind, you're putting together a month early and already pregnant for a month. Is that where you get your doubt from? It was just so much going on, so it was like a back and forth. I'm the father, and no, I'm not the father. I'm the father, I'm not. But and again. this kept playing in your mind. You're yeah. the father, you're not the father. Are you all still trying to be together? No. No, I broke okay, up. Okay, no, Your Honor. Face. Actually, no, I'm engaged and about to get ready to make, get married next month. He's irrelevant <laughs> to the case. <laughs> I've been talking to this... Wait, wait a minute yeah, now. So, wait a minute, yeah. wait a minute. All you all need to slow down. I, all of you, you all well, need to matter. slow down. You all sound like you in school, yard. You all sound mm -hmm. like... I don't have you time all for sound like. Too. No, no, no. You do have time for him. No, I don't. Because 27 days ago... 27 days yeah, ago? Yeah, I had time for him. No, no, hold on. Work. Hold on. Because I don't let you over-talk everybody, but you're mm. not going to over-talk me. 27 days ago, you had him up in a hospital... Yeah, yeah. ...with his arms on your brand-new baby. So in 27 days, I'm going to tell you something as a grown woman. 27 days ago, you had him in a hospital saying he's the father of your he, child. I didn't tell so him don't, to come. So it does not matter. The I, point is, you allowed it. You brought I the pictures... To... Hold on. You brought the pictures for proof. Right. To say that what he is contending is not true. Right. So in this moment now, just because you gone off with your next minute man, talking about you getting man. married... It's not a yes, minute it is. Man. Trust no, me. Yes, you 23 no, years old. It's another minute man. No, I bet it's not you. A minute Let's man, come back. Come back. Come back. No, Come back in five yeah, years, and we're going to see if you married to All him. Right, and you will. Because let me tell you something. You let me tell you something, little girl. Is he the dad? You got a lot of mouth, mm. but not a lot of maturity. Mm. That's right. And that's the difference. You're talking... You're that's talking, right. but you aren't saying anything. 27 days ago, oh. you got him holding your baby, saying it's mine. Today, you talking about, okay, I ain't even got nothing to do with him because I'm marrying somebody else. It doesn't go like that, because if he is the biological father of the child, the way you say he is, then he will have a legal right to see that child, and you're, he's not gonna go away. Actually, no, he's not. He's not gonna have no that's type of rights That's what she was saying at the child. beginning, too. I don't want that him That I wasn't to... gonna see the baby, all that. Hold on. If it is Mr. Edwards, mm -hmm. then the truth is, is this child has a right to know and have a relationship which with is, his father. Which is why I am here. Exactly. Which so my I point am. is, in the moment, even when you feel attacked, don't start backtracking and backpedaling from the very reason why you had the courage to come stand in this position in the first place. Mm -hmm. You came here for your child because you believe he's doubting your baby. Mm -hmm. And as a mother, that doesn't feel good. Right. You hurt. Right. And you have a right to be hurt. Mm -hmm. Even if it's your doing. Even if it's true. Mm -hmm. And maybe you did have sex with somebody else during the... I don't care what it is to be 27 days out and having to deal with this level of, uh, uh, of, of negativity. You, you, you hurt. Mm -hmm. And so at the end of the day, let's just keep ourselves in a level of maturity, let's keep a level of decorum that allows you to get the answer you need for your baby. And we mm -hmm. have that answer Good. now. Okay. Jerome. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Ramos versus Edwards, when it comes to one-month-old Xavier Edwards, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Edwards, you are the father. Thank you. Oh I God. want you to apologize to our son. I want you to apologize to him because I told you since day one. How do you feel in this moment, Mr. Edwards? I'm afraid. 
Why are you afraid? I just don't feel like she's gonna allow me to be in his life, that's all. Your Honor, that's not the point that I wanna take the baby out of his life, but he already know the lifestyle that he has. Listen, you came here to get the answer for your baby you knew to be true. And the DNA vindicated you. Yes. Right? Yes, it did. So now you've got to say to yourself, let me open the door so my child can have a relationship with his father, but Mr. Edwards, you have to walk through the door. This little boy is going to be looking to you as his example in life. So if you've got to clean up your path, I can't think of a better reason than this beautiful baby. I have no troubles in this area as far as family goes. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm a family man, even with the doubts in my head. Well, I can see the look on your face that you appreciate the innocence of this beautiful baby. Now you just have to live up to what it takes to be his father. Just as Ms. Ramos, you have to live up to what it will take to be his mother. We want Xavier to be healthy and happy. I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned.